Jesus Christ. A buddy of mine sends me a tech message and he's like, MotoGP was great this week. You might want it, but you got to check out the F1. The, uh, the F1 was incredible. All right. So I'm thinking, oh, my God, this, uh, we got some racing. Mm-hmm. We got some racing going on. We got some passing. We got all of this shit going on, right? And I'm watching the race. And it's great. Ferraris are out front. I don't know why they're maroon now, but I'm enjoying that. Max Verstappen's out there. You know, that Perez guy's driving for Red Bull. I'm a little behind in the sport. So I'm like, oh, wow, some shit jumbled around. You know, Daniel Ricciardo's all the way in the back of the race because he's driving f- some fucking shit box ever since he left Red Bull, which is my problem with that sport is it's really the team that you're with is 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 bigger than the driver's skill because when Ricardo was with Red Bull, he was getting podiums all the time. He was winning races. He was drinking out of his fucking boot. You know, now he's in the back of the race. It's the same driver, different team, you know? So anyway, speaking of which, I'm watching the race and I'm like, look at Mercedes struggling. Lewis Hamilton, fifth, sixth place, the whole fucking race, right? And I'm like, all right, this is good. Finally, some new fucking blood. You know, I know Mercedes will get the car dialed in. This is good, right? So we get to the end of the race. John Leclerc, Ferrari, fucking first place. The other Ferrari driver is in second place. Max Verstappen is in third. And Perez is in fourth. And Lewis Hamilton is in fifth. All right? And they're driving. There's like five fucking laps to go. All of a sudden, this guy's car catches on fire. Lewis Hamilton is completely out of the race. And out of podium, right? Fucking guy's car catches on fire. They got the new rules. They do the fucking restart, whatever the hell it is. Now he's in the leader group. And I'm like, here he comes. Here he here comes the rich kid. This fucking, fucking the richest car out there. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I'm not answering that. Um, yes, I still have a house phone. Um, do I need to answer something to answer that? Ah! Trying to reach me for my car's extended warranty. We've been trying to reach your, your car. They said you're a robot. Fuck off. Okay, let me guess. You have a diamond mind that I can invest in, and then you'll cover my muffler? Um, anyway, uh, yeah, he's like in fifth fucking place. They get to like the second to last lap. All of a sudden, Max Verstappen's car just dies. Just fucking dies. Nobody passed anybody. It dies. So now Lewis Hamilton is in fourth place. He's almost on the podium. And I'm thinking, oh, he's going to pass Perez. Here we go. And he can't because his car fucking sucks, right? So I'm like, oh, great. The rich kid finally having a tough race. I get to watch him pout. One of my favorite things in the world. Watching Lewis Hamilton sitting in his car with his helmet on, acting like the world just ended because he didn't get on a podium. I, I say, you know, it's the little things in life. Ever since I saw that, I saw Botas be a teammate for him. And then like six races later, it's like five years ago, the exact same scenario was presented where Lewis could have hooked up Botas. And he's just like, yeah, no, I'm not doing it. And I was just like, you're a cunt. Fuck you. That's it. I'm done with you. Right. So now there's one lap to go. Lewis Hamilton cannot catch up with Perez. And by the way, Ferrari is going to be one and two for the first time in like 46 years at this race. Announcers could give a fuck. They're doing what they always do, screaming, and Lewis Hamilton is now in fourth place, right? I swear to God, the guy's voice is that high. They get to the final fucking lap. The other Red Bull car just dies. It, he goes around and turn. The engine just fucking dies, and he wipes out, and Lewis Hamilton, and the fucking announcers are oh, my God, this is incredible. What a race. Who would have thought it? Oh, Lewis Hamilton is now in third place. He made Lewis Hamilton makes the podium. <coughs> screaming the whole fucking time. Guy's coming in third place. They said Lewis Hamilton more than they, they said Ferrari's one and two. And then they told me it was an incredible race. Not because Ferrari went one and two. Not because Lewis Hamilton passed two Red Bull cars on the final two fucking laps. Because both cars fucking died. And they're so excited that their goddamn golden boy gets on the fucking podium. It was the fu- And my buddy had the fucking balls to tell me that that was a good race. That I get to see, you know what he's like? He's like the cunt in every coming of age 80s movie, except in the end, he's still banging the cheerleader. (laughs) Ah, would you ever think you could get this worked up about people driving cars? You know what it is? It's just, it's just, they they were acting like he passed somebody. He didn't pass anybody. It's, It's the same reason that I don't like the NBA. I don't like the fucking, at least when Daniel Stern was running it, and he used to just rub his balls. 
He'd paint his nutsack purple and fucking gold and just root for the Lakers to make the finals every fucking year, like openly. Like, well, Dave, not Daniel Stern, that's the actor. David Stern, what, what's your dream final? Oh, the Lakers versus the Lakers. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> then they have a mobbed up ref who helped the Lakers get there. But Stern wasn't involved. No, not at all. Not at all. That guy ran a nice, tight ship the whole time he was there. That, that league wasn't finessed whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. The Knicks won the lottery in 85 and got fucking Patrick Ewan. Absolutely. fucking lootly Absolutely. I'm, I'm buying all of that shit. I'm buying all of that shit. You know, the fucking Kevin Garnett trade. Oh, yeah, that made total sets. And all of a sudden, I don't know. You know what this, the NBA needs? You know, it's just the ratings are down. Let's just get the Lakers and Celtics going again. Let's just give them that finals two years in a row. Okay, sounds good. Dial it up. Um, no one can tell me differently. I literally heard an NBA player one year when they lost in the playoffs. He goes, yeah, we just didn't fit their script. He literally said it. And people still sit there and act like that. The, the, the most easily manipulated fucking game out there. Oh, look at that great player. He could do some damage today. There's two quick fouls. And out of the game you go. Um, all right. Sorry. Anyway. Lewis Hamilton is in third place. Can you believe it? It's unbelievable. What, what a race. It was fantastic. It was brilliant. Spectacular. He came in third place. <laughs> I don't know what's more hilarious to me. Watching those announcers screaming about Lewis Hamilton getting third place in a race or watching Vladimir Putin score a goal in a pickup hockey game. I don't know what is more ridiculous to me. Um, or to use the great Dennis Miller's uh, reference, uh, Elvis Presley. Look at that. I was so worked up. I hit stop on the record. Um, the great Dennis Miller's reference, uh, El watching Elvis Presley do karate. Dennis Miller had this amazing joke one, a long time ago in one of my favorite stand-up specials of all, of all time, the black or white special. Black, uh, no, the off-white the Off White album? No, that was the album. I think it was the Black and White special. I forget what the fuck. Oh my God, I'm fucking old. It was like 30 years ago. So he had this. Um, now I have to look it up. That's going to drive me nuts. Um, he had this joke saying, so and so deserved something about as much as Elvis Presley deserved his black belt. <laughs> um, oh, Black and White. All right, that was a stand up special. That was it. Yes. Um, yeah, Mr. Miller goes to Washington and that. Two huge specials for old young Billy Burr when I used to watch stand-up comedy. So um, anyway, it was still fun, though. Um, you know, I, and by the way, for all you Lewis Hamilton fanboys, I know that guy is fucking amazing, okay? And I know his story is amazing. It is amazing, okay? Without a fucking doubt, okay? But I just, you know, Jesus Christ. The guy came in third place, all right? He didn't just cure COVID. <laughs> Oh, my God, it's unbelievable. Lewis Hamilton just went through a drive through and ordered a Big Mac. <coughs> and he got the fries. Oh, this hurt my voice. Lewis Hamilton. I drive my wife nuts when I watch the, the fucking the races because all I do is scream acting like that fucking guy. I'm yelling at the golden boy, Lewis Hamilton, and the silver arrow of a Mercedes. He's in ninth place. <coughs> all right, I have to stop doing that. It's just hurting my fucking voice. Um, so I'm fucking screaming about men driving around in cars. I literally got off my couch like, you got to be fucking kidding me. When the second one shit the bed. 